In 2018, a sad story happened in Moscow when a 16-year-old girl, Kristina Kamraeva, went missing. She disappeared back in late August, and the search for the schoolgirl continued for two months until the girl's body was finally found. It is clear that all the time of the search, relatives and parents were sure that the girl was alive, and everything began with simple communication and acquaintance by internet correspondence. Few people knew at that moment that the story would have such a tragic ending. On August 26, 2018, Kristina Kamrayeva left home and did not return. Her parents immediately began to look for her. The description was thrown in VK, volunteers, police officers took part in the search, and parents received calls even from Metro employees who offered their help in finding the girl. The parents sounded the alarm the same evening, as the girl had always spent the night at home and did not run away from the family, and she had no conflicts with her parents. According to the described signs of the girl, who left on Chertonovskia Street, no one has seen her. According to her mother's descriptions, the girl was calm and homely, drew beautifully, and was going to become a teacher. At first, the investigation was unable to find the girl's connections, or even her route by which she left home. The mother of the deceased claimed that the girl was not a member of social networks and did not even have a cell phone with her at the time of her disappearance. Therefore, it was difficult for the investigators to establish contacts of the deceased. Later, it turned out that the girl had an Instagram account, which her mother did not even suspect. So the account and found the suspect. He turned out to be the same age as the girl Kirill Ladinsky, with whom the girl had been communicating by correspondence on the internet for a year. It turned out that the young man had come to Moscow from Khabarovsk for three days to transfer virtual communication into the category of real communication. When the young man was detained, he very quickly began to confess and told not only how he had killed the girl, but also how he had dismembered her and where he had hidden the remains. It was after his testimony, that is, two months after the girl went missing, that she was found in pieces, in the collector, and in the container that the suspect had indicated. Very detailed testimony was given by a neighbor who lived in the same entrance on Bolshaya Filipskaya Street, where the suspect, Kirill, rented an apartment for three days. The neighbor was very vigilant about this apartment, as the owners did not choose the tenants, and the police visited the place very often. The woman claimed that Christina had been visiting Kirill all those days and that they had had sexual intercourse. At least that's what the woman thought from the characteristic sounds coming from behind the thin wall. Christina did not come alone that day, but with two friends and it was around three o'clock in the morning. Then the friends left and Christina stayed behind and has not been seen since. According to the case materials and the testimony of the suspect's mother, Kirill really wanted to get to Moscow. My parents went to the capital every year, but this time it didn't work out. Then the young man took the money he had been saving for his cell phone and left without saying anything to anyone. On August 24th, he called his mother from Moscow and calmed the woman down. The mother claims that the young man behaved adequately and it was obvious that he had not been drinking or using various substances in the capital. The young man rented an apartment from realtor Vasily Pospili and paid 30,000 rubles for three days. They did not conclude any contracts. Kirill moved out before the agreed time. He did not warn the landlord about it in advance. According to the young man's testimony, a quarrel arose between him and his girlfriend and then he attacked her with a knife. According to another version, the murder was planned in advance, and Kirill bought the blade and handcuffs earlier to see how the girl would behave if chained to a radiator. After several stab wounds, the wheezing and bleeding girl was brought to the bathtub and left there. Subsequently, 
he went into the bathroom several times to make sure that the girl was already dead. While Christina was dying in the bathroom, the young man went to get chlorine to clean the apartment thoroughly afterwards. Some remains of the body the police never found as a result. The owner of the rented apartment is likely to be investigated, as it was impossible not to notice the traces of blood, but she did not report it. Kirill immediately afterwards went to his home. It was there that the investigators detained him. They interrogated him first in the presence of a psychologist and then additionally applied a lie detector. Kirill's mother, Olga Vladimirovna, works as an accountant and has always raised her son without the support of his father, claims that the boy had no psycho-emotional problems, although his physical health remained unstable. The mother of the murdered Christina claims that Kirill declared strong feelings and said that after the army, he would marry Christina, which is why he was rushing to Moscow to meet the girl with whom he was so warmly communicating online. They shared a common hobby, anime. The young man's mother claimed that he had mood swings because of his relationship with Christina. When Kirill arrived in Khabarovsk, he behaved calmly, reassured his mother, telling her that he had been in Moscow and then went to the sea with her. When the investigators came upon him, the young man often confused his testimony, which led the investigation to the idea of his involvement. At the same time, all of Kirill's acquaintances and friends are shocked by the situation. Many do not believe in his guilt, describing him as a sociable child who loved animals, shared with everyone, often joked. The mother claims that the son was an adequate and calm child, did not show aggression, and was afraid of pain. The woman claims that she now has a hard time because of public opinion. Many acquaintances point fingers in the streets and stop socializing and strange people often appear outside her door. The suspect claims that he killed his girlfriend because she suggested in foul language that he remain friends. After that, the young man stabbed her with the knife he was cutting bread with at the time. Subsequently, Kirill showed the police officers the place where he had thrown the knife. It was a knife with the inscription Spetsnaz, which the young man allegedly bought as a souvenir Kirill Ladinsky refused all his testimony at the trial and claimed that he had given it under pressure from the investigation. The defendant also apologized to Christina's mother, but only for not walking the girl to the subway. Kirill's mother also apologized to the woman, but claims that she does not believe that her son is capable of doing such a thing. Initially, the state prosecutor asked for six years for Kirill although the young man was threatened with up to life. Kirill's defense argued that the investigation had an insufficient evidence base and that many of the evidence had obvious inconsistencies. First of all, the young man's defenders Orti point out that it is simply impossible to cut up a corpse with a simple folding knife so professionally that no traces were left in the apartment. It is also strange that the DNA examination in the apartment showed no traces of the murdered girl. Another oddity according to the defense, while the guy according to the testimony was cutting up the corpse, his bank card was used to make an order to the cafe. It turns out that he dismembered the corpse in the bathroom, and then, in the middle of the trial, he decided to eat. In December 2019, the court sentenced Kirill Ladinsky to five years imprisonment in an educational colony. In June 2021, the Court of Cassation returned the materials of the criminal case to the Court of First Instance. Then the sentences were changed to four years and eight months. Support the video with a like and the channel with a subscription. All the best to you. Be careful.